For the first time tonight, we're hearing from a former Wake County Sheriff's deputy fired as part of a shakeup. Sheriff Gerald Baker has been facing criticism for firing or demoting more than 40 people since taking office several weeks ago. CBS 7's Michael Hyland live at the Sheriff's Office. And Michael, that deputy takes issue with how the sheriff has explained why he's making these changes. When Randolph Beatty came here a couple of weeks ago, he was shocked to find out it was his last day on the job. After 17 years of working for the sheriff's office, he's concerned that some of the decisions the sheriff is making are personal and not necessarily what's in best interest of the county. After Wake County Sheriff Gerald Baker got elected, Randolph Beatty expected changes, but not what happened to him. I did not for one minute think that, you know, he would terminate me. Beatty worked for the sheriff's office for 17 years, most recently as an investigator. At one point, he reported directly to Baker. Anyone that's doing his job have nothing to worry about. So I took that to be true. He got called into the sheriff's office a couple weeks ago to find out he lost his job. He says he got no explanation. Every day when I come home, my two-year-old son meets me at the door. And he's like all happy to see me. And, you know, that night, so traumatic that when I got home and he met me at the door, all I could do was bust into tears. Sheriff Baker held a press conference recently to address the personnel changes. They were terminated because I did not have the confidence in them to follow and implement my policies moving forward. Beatty says he never heard from Baker what those policies are or what his vision is. He worries this was payback from when they worked together. Just like anything else up and down, you know, uh, we did have a few rough spots. I have not retaliated, retaliated against anyone, no person. Baker says he's trying to move forward. Oh, don't just give them an idea that everything's okay and we need to move forward. Well, everything's not okay. Beatty says he's concerned the office is losing too many people like him with years of experience who know the county well. He hopes to find another job in law enforcement and get back to doing what he loves. I just got an email from the sheriff about this a few minutes ago. He says, I have revisited personnel matters that were previously overlooked or dealt with inappropriately. After considering personnel privacy and preservation of human dignity, I choose not to explain each of my personnel decisions. And he goes on to write, my office will continue to maintain an inclusive work environment and an unbiased delivery of the services of this office to all Wake County residents. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.